promoted Steve Townsend. Uh, some of you were, were there at that promotion. And Steve's our uh, newest four-star officer in the Army. Steve has uh, got a long pedigree of tremendous combat experience, of tremendous talent, a man of great character. And I'm not going to repeat uh, everything I said at his, at his promotion. Uh, but this is a guy that I have known uh, for well over 20, almost 25 years now. Uh, this is a guy who has uh, incredible competence, he's got tremendous intellect, uh, and he's got extraordinary experience. And I have no doubt uh, that he is going to take Tradoc to the next level. Uh, he possesses everything we want uh, in a four-star general, and I can tell you that Tradoc and the Army are very, very, very lucky to have Steve Townsend uh, take command. He is a, a warrior scholar in a true sense. Uh, he is an extraordinarily humble man, He's not uh, at all uh, full of himself, and many of you may or may not know his personal story. Uh, as, a, as a young child, uh, he was uh, born uh, to a German mother and an Afghan father, uh, and they unfortunately couldn't beat their child, and they put Steve up for adoption. Uh, and as luck would have it, uh, Steve's uh, mother, Geraldine, and his father, then a sergeant first class in the United States Army, were serving in Germany. Uh, Steve's father has passed, but he's looking on down at us right now, and he's enormously proud as well. And they adopted Steve, and they brought him to Georgia. Uh, and then, uh, and the rest of its history. Uh, they raised an incredible young man uh, who matriculated at uh, North Georgia College, and he's done all the things you would ever expect uh, of an officer commissioned out of the infantry. Uh, in the United States Army, a platoon leader uh, in the 505th uh, in uh, fights in, in Operation Urgent Fury in Grenada. Uh, then he's uh, in the Rangers in Just Cause, uh, also in the Rangers uh, in Haiti. Uh, he serves as a battalion commander in the early days of Afghanistan in Operation Anaconda, a brigade commander of a striker brigade in Iraq, deputy commanding general of 101st Airborne Division in Afghanistan, the commanding general of the 10th Mountain Division in combat in Iraq, and then the Corps Commander of 18th Airborne Corps, also in Iraq. A guy who's served in combat from the time he was a lieutenant until today. A guy who has served in four different highly elite and highly trained uh, infantry regiments. A guy who served in five different divisions and special operations forces. This is a guy who has 68 months of combat. 68 months of combat. Five and a half years. Longer than World War II lasted. This is a guy who has enormous amounts of experience. But what distinguishes Steve is his character. This is a guy who's enormously humble. This is a guy who is not afraid to speak truth to power, and he does it with class, he does it with professionalism, and he doesn't do it with a chip on his shoulder, but he nevertheless always gets his message across. So in Steve Townsend, Tradoc has a commander who has an enormous reputation with the President of the United States, with the Secretary of Defense, with the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and every single one of us in the Army at the four-star level, three-star level, two-star, one-star colonels. This is a guy who has total confidence and total trust of the entire system. But like Dave, Steve didn't get here alone. 35 years ago, he met Melissa, and they have been together uh, leading America's soldiers and their families uh, through peace and war. And so to the Melissa, uh, we say thank you for your past sacrifice and your past service. Uh, we know how much you've done over the years. And thank you also for raising two wonderful sons, both of whom have chosen to put on the cloth of their country as well, with Tyler, who's sitting down here in the front as an engineer captain, uh, who's about to uh, get assigned to the 10th Mountain Division, and Evan, who's currently over in Germany, uh, who served two tours in combat in Afghanistan as a, as a medic with the 1st Battalion, 75th Rangers. Uh, so to the entire Townsend family, uh, we say congratulations. Uh, we say thank you uh, for your continued service, and we say how very proud we are. So for me to say goodbye to Dave Perkins, uh, to see him leave Tradoc, 
We extended him for a year because uh, I needed all the help I could get. Uh, for me, it's a sad day to say goodbye to Dave Perkins. But it's also a happy day uh, to say hello to Steve Townsend here at uh, Trade Off. Uh, and so I guess in, in the words uh, of uh, Charles Dickens, it's sort of the best of times and the worst of times uh, for all of us to say goodbye to the Perkinses, and, but it's the best of times to say hello to the Townsends.